We work with uh, local farm waste and we'll mix that together with mushroom mycelium or mushroom roots. And depending on how you grow it, you can make it nice and hard for industrial applications or soft and smooth for applications like computers or furniture. Explain how this whole thing came about. This isn't something you usually go, oh my gosh, I love studying mushrooms. Well, Gavin and I uh, worked together a lot in college. The class was called Inventor Studio, and okay. the thesis of the class is find a problem that's affecting the world, come up with a technical solution that'll, that'll help solve that problem, patent it, and start a business. Well, what was important about this class that we were in was that it focused on problem solving. We were looking at alternatives to the plastics and resins that really plague our planet and you know, human health. And mushrooms are a great alternative because they fit directly into nature's recycling system. What kind of advice would you give to other entrepreneurs? Important problems deserve entrepreneurs working on them, and I believe if you work on an important problem, you can get funded and you can solve it. Well, from there, you know, one of the, the biggest hurdles that I see entrepreneurs getting over is the ability to release a product. And the best feedback that you can get is to put it into a potential customer's hand and let them tell you whether or not the product is ready. Would you consider yourself successful? I feel pretty good about what we've accomplished. Yeah, we've seen a tremendous amount of growth in our business from the days where we were growing materials under our beds in our apartments to the scale that we're at today. So it's a growing success. Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're going to motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.